morning. It's 5.45 in the morning. And I'm just about to jump on a boat to get a dolphin watching. So, let's go. Dolphins were beautiful, the sunrise was beautiful, and that was really nice. The only problem was that as soon as a dolphin popped up out of the water, about 20 boats converged on where it popped up. And because they were all going so fast trying to get there really quickly, as soon as they did get there, the dolphins went back underwater. So it was more like hunting dolphins than it was dolphin watching. Like a sort of dolphin whack-a-mole. But still, overall, it was worth it. Hopefully I got some good footage, I haven't looked at it yet. Now I'm going to grab some breakfast and then decide what I'm doing for the rest of the day. Whoa. So, it's half ten now and this morning I've already been dolphin watching, had breakfast and finished editing yesterday's video. But now I'm going to set off on day three of this road trip around Bali. My next stop is Ahmed, a sleepy beach village further along the north coast of Bali. But first, I'm gonna take a detour. Bye-bye. Well, check this out. This wasn't at all what I was looking for. I was actually heading somewhere else. But look at this view. Just forgetting that I'm in the middle of a construction site right now. But this is awesome. Whoa. Right, Google Maps just seems to be taking me straight up. <laughs> I mean I don't know how far up I am, but my ears just popped and it's actually getting pretty cold. So I just shoved on my hoodie. Look at this. Way down on the beach there is where we just were in Lavina. What? Genuinely struggling. I'm at 
actually in a cloud. <laughs> what? I'm in the middle of a cloud right now. Crazy. Still going up. <laughs> right, I had to pull over. This is awesome. I had no idea that I'd be coming this way or even that I was going up a hill. Look at that! I can barely see about 10 yards in front of me. <laughs> it's mental. <laughs> hey. Okay, well I think I'm finally out of the hill and I've found the main road, it looks like and I've also found this Now this is one of the things I was heading this way to see there are two lakes here and there is also a temple nearby which you might recognise in the centre of Bali. I can't remember the two names off the top of my head, so they pop up now. <laughs> but yeah, there's a temple, one of the most famous temples of Bali here, which I'm gonna go find now. But first, I'm hungry, so I stopped off for a quick like so. Now bakso is basically a meatball soup with various ingredients in. This one has egg, noodles, and it's actually chicken balls. It is really nice. I am so confused right now. I don't know if I'm in the right place or not. I've been driving around for about an hour and I can't seem to find this temple that I've been aiming for. Definitely not the right place. So finally, after about an hour and a half of searching, I found it. This is Bedagao, or Pura Dana Baratan, I think. And it's one of the most iconic places in Bali. I think it's even on the cover of the latest Lonely Planet. And I just didn't want to leave Bali before I came and saw it. still part of the temple, but there are people fishing here as well, which I don't quite understand, but that's okay, I guess. Anyway, I'm going to move on now. After this little detour, which was meant to take about half an hour, it's taken about three, <laughs> I'm going to hightail it to Ahmed. It's 3.30 now and I've finally made it back to the coastal road. I've just passed through the city of Singaraja, but that's only about 10 kilometers further east than where I started this morning. <laughs> so it's still a two hour drive to Ahmed, but I'm determined to make it today. driving along for about half an hour 
and I haven't looked right in ages. And then when I did, that's there. Well this, look at that. Whoa, look at that. <laughs> well, sorry about the hair, but whoa, this is awesome. I think it's Mount Batur or Mount Agung. Can't remember which, but yeah, amazing. And now I'm finally gonna go to Ahmed. No more distractions. Check this place out. I just shopped around a few places and now I have a four poster bed, a shower that opens up into palm trees with a stone pebble floor and last but not least I have my view of the sea and a view of Mount Agung. So how much whoa <laughs> so how much does this set me back? No ah ah well, I'll worry about that later. So how much does this set me back? It was meant to be 180, and I got it down to 100 for the night. And yeah, it seems like a pretty good value for this, five pounds for this room altogether. So now I'm completely exhausted and I'm completely starving. So I'm gonna leave it there, but it's been a really awesome day. Dolphin watching in the morning, got stuck in a cloud, Went and saw Bedigal Temple and then on the way back got to see a great view of Mount Agung. So again, thank you for watching and this is my life. Mm -hmm.